Yeah, I remember 10 years ago when we started in a spare room in my in our mum and dad's house, the kids banging on the door and me taking daddy, phone daddy. calls. Daddy, <laughs> Yeah, and uh, so toddlers. Our toddlers are now um, five foot ten. <clears throat> yeah. Um, and I guess uh, oh, Dementia Adventure's home. five foot ten now as well. It's fabulous. <laughs> The simple mission that Dementia Adventure set up with 10 years ago has, has remained the same throughout and, and, and will remain the same. Very simply, people are spending too much time indoors, a detriment to their well-being unnecessarily. Simply by the act of getting outdoors and spending time in beautiful places with people that they love, um, they can live better lives. Everybody who has supported Dementia Adventure from the very beginning, there have been so many people and we could not have done it without them. It's amazing that we're celebrating 10 years of Dementia Adventure and we want to take this opportunity to say a huge thank you to all our wonderful volunteers. We wouldn't have been able to hit 10 years without your support and passion. So as a training and consultancy arm, I just want to say thank you. Um, thank you to all those people that have come to our training. I hope it's been of help. Um, and to all those organisations that have supported us over the years, you know, thank you for your support. Uh, it's been invaluable. We've had ongoing long-term funding from the Players of the People Postcode Lottery. Um, we've had support from various charitable trusts and foundations, corporate organisations and various community groups. Individuals have jumped out of aeroplanes, they've hiked up mountains, run marathons, you name it, people have done it. 